Hello everyone and welcome to Unstoppable Bonus Gaming. Today we are back in Goldenrod City once again um, for the third part of the Johto series. So we're going to show you guys the next couple of towns and see what you guys think about those and get you all ready for the Johto region whenever you beat the Kanto Elite Four and you guys get there. Alright, this next place we're going to go to is Route 35. Uh, Picnicker Kim is here. There's going to be a lot of trainers on this route too. And if you watch my Sunstone video, uh, I think about no Sunstone video, but like the Evolution Zone video, up here is a great place to find... Um, why is everybody fishing here for? It must be a good Pokemon. I'm going to check it out. The best thing you can find here is Magikarp and Tin... It was just Magikarp. You can only find Magikarp here. There must be EV training or something. Um, I don't know. They must have just get their fishing up in a random place like that. That's not a really good place to do it. But let's just go over here and make our way to the next town. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to go back. After... I forgot to tell you guys about um, after defeating the... Whitney in her gym. There's a certain thing you got to do before you can move on to the next town, and it's uh, some people might miss it. I don't know if they miss it or not. But over here, there is this NPC. Her name is Gardener. She will give you the. Uh, I have it in my inventory. It's the Squirtle bottle. Yeah, the Squirt bottle is what you're going to use to get past the Pseudo Wudo tree that we mentioned before in the last video. So let's go up here and show you guys where that is. Um, I don't remember if he's repelling or not. I'm just going to go ahead and use another one. So there we go. And let's make our way up to where the tree was, and so you guys can see uh, where that was. I can't see it on my screen now because it's gone. Because I already used a water bottle on it to get it soaked. And the good news is, after you defeat a Whitney, you get access to travel back and forth from like the original, so you can get back faster um, to the original place. So let's go on up here to the top. Oh man, my battery, my camera's gonna die soon. So if the battery dies, I'm just gonna keep recording because I don't have any more batteries left. Oh, that sucks. Let's go to the store. Okay, but this is the next town, and this is Ekrutik. I can't pronounce it. Um, but this town is where the ghost gem is, and I can't remember exactly what the ghost Pokemon are that live here, but once again, the ghost Pokemon for the gem will be up on the... Like, the trainer's Pokemon will be up on the screen right now. So you can see this is Morty. He's the leader of this gem, and his uh, nephew Rick is here somewhere. Uh, or grandson Rick. But, uh... His Pokemon will be on the screen so you guys can see that. And this guy's taking it on with the Aggron. I don't know if the Aggron's the best choice for that. Um, pretty bulky though, maybe. But let's move on to the next town that you guys are going to see. Okay. Here we go, here we go. I think you can find Tauros here. So this is a pretty good place to hunt Pokemon. And my, my effects run off. That would have been crazy if we ran into a Tauros on camera. That would have been really cool. And run away from the Rattata. Rattata. I don't know how to pronounce it. I uh, pronounce it Rattata. I think they pronounce it in the series too. We need these uh, max gathers. And this is just a random ranch here. Nothing really important. Uh, the Jetro region is kind of unfinished, so there's not really that many uh, things. Like, actually, the Hoenn region is more complete than this region. And, and uh, there's the gym. This gym right here, you cannot challenge this gym because there will be, uh, I think, someone blocking it. But you cannot challenge that gym because that's not the next gym, actually. But once you get here, you unlock a vital part of the game because down here is where the sailor is and this guy can sail you to and from the Kanto and Johto region so this area right is going to save a lot of time for you and the next place I'm going to show you guys is pretty crazy and pretty important so let's go up here now we need to go to the next town which is across the ocean actually so be sure you have your repels on and be sure you have a strong Pokemon to swim across because you can swim for a little while and this is probably one of the longest surfs in the game there's not any trainers in the water um, so don't worry about that. Now let's keep on moving through this area. This is also the way to uh, Lost Meadows and stuff like that and the place where you can find Cyndaquil and those things. If you want to look for those, I have videos selected out uh, how to find Chikorita and Totodile and Cyndaquil. So there's a video for all those starter Pokemon so you can look at that. And this here is the next town. It is Cyanwood City. And let's check this place out. We have the little store. We have the like random buildings here that look kind of cool and we have the next gym which is the I think the leader's name is Chuck and yeah yeah his name is Chuck it's just right here you can literally just skip to him you do not have to fight these guys you can skip straight to Chuck if you want to um, so there's not really any point in fighting them unless you just really want to he was really easy I uh, took him on first try defeated him so you guys should have no problem with him let's go on down here and see what we got there's one more thing I want to show you guys before I end this video here is the next part over here and that is really cool. Um, 
and it's the Johto Safari Zone. There's a lot of rare Pokemon that you're going to want to catch here, and I'll show you guys how, much, how expensive it is to get in. And let's see what this here is. Safari Zone ticket is $80,000, so it costs $80,000 to get in here. So you have to be pretty rich to, not pretty rich, but like pretty well off to get in here. A lot of players don't have $80,000, but once you get into Johto region, especially in this area, you're going to have some money because uh, all the drops and stuff, it really increases, like it's a big increase. So you should have some money by then, um, especially if you have gold membership. But that's about it for the, I've showed you three towns, uh, two gyms. Uh, next time we will go back to Olivine City across the ocean again, and I will show you guys uh, the inside of the next gym. And then we'll make our way over to Price after that. But that's the end of today's video, guys. And just like the last video, if you guys want to hurry up, me to hurry up on the next video, on this, like, if you want me to hurry up on uh, this next video after this, then go ahead and get this video at 25 likes, and I will upload it as soon as it gets 25 likes. So don't worry about that. Um, I'll be working hard on these videos here. So if you're new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe. I upload Pokemon videos every single day. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time on Supplemental Gaming.